Joe, what's going on, man? What you up to? What's up, Jared? Just a bright morning. I guess I didn't really sleep well because I was so excited. We won. <laughs> the Dodgers lost, but we won the bets. A lot of guys won on the live betting, which, again, if you're not on there, get on there. They won the premium picks. Mm-hmm. It was like a really good night. I'm just so happy. <clears throat> My voice is gone because I was so much yelling. The Dodgers, you know, came through <laughs> on the over. So, anyways, we'll go over it. But uh, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm excited as well. We uh, we had a great night yesterday. We did, um, I, and also my Astros won. Um, they they in what? dominating. The Astros won. I forgot. Did they? They weren't even playing. I thought they were uh, <laughs> off for the season. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. They squeezed out a. Uh, they squeezed out one versus the Mariners. You had Yuli Gariel hitting that home run in the tenth inning. To uh, hopefully that'll snap them out of their funk. That they've been in lately, um, you know, because they got to be careful. The Rangers are right on their heels. And I they're... want, you know what? I'm gonna hate to say. It. I think and MLB wants it. I want it. The fans want it. I, we, I want the Rangers to be in first place. I do. Oh, I want to see. That. I want to see one Texas team take over another Texas team. Hey, if, if you if you like that, guys, leave it in the comments. Texas Rangers first place. Yeah, go ahead and leave that in the comments if you want me to delete them because <laughs> because nobody wants the Rangers. <laughs> no, Joey Gallo, um, let's go, Joey Gallo, and yeah, let's yeah. Go. Uh, you know, I do like Hunter Pence on their team though. He was yeah, one Hunter of the, Pence, uh, Joey Gallo. I mean, my favorite on. Astros back in the day. Mike Minor pitching great. You, you got to give the Texas Rangers. I mean, I counted them out. I honestly did. But anyways, we can have we could we could have yeah. a discussion forever. But um, yeah. Oh, oh so. I, I mean, I believe in the Rangers. They're red hot, you know, with Lance Lynn. Um, I not and I that's I picked them yesterday on my uh, video to yes. win as an underdog, and they came through. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. But you know what else is? I mean, tell them, Joe. We uh, we had a pretty good night yesterday in the premiums. Yes, yes, we did. So, uh, if you guys are down the premiums, it's sgdwins.com. Sgdwins.com. Here's the plug. Get it. We're getting hot again. Uh, we're getting hot in the live channel. Uh, special shout out to Mr. Hammer Dink. He's probably hammered because he, went, he was on the live. <laughs> he, uh, he bet two grand on the Dodgers over. He hit it. He was happy. I mean, there was just a lot of happy people on the live channel. If you're not on the live channel, get in there. Get in the Discord. What are you waiting? Free money here, guys. Let's do yeah. it. The link is in the description for not only the premium selection, but also the Discord. Come join it. Picks, plays, parlays, and that sweet, sweet information you are craving is all in there. And plus, the camaraderie is amazing. Joe, myself, Peyton, we're all in there. You you have easy access to us. And we'll have fun uh, just getting to know everybody and sweating these games out. And speaking of sweating these games out, Joe, we got we got a whole slate of games here. Yeah, we yeah. That's about early games. Yeah, and then just to get a little note to people, I know people, I, I saw comments say, oh, you guys lost. I mean, again, we just give our early leans on these games. These, these games by no means are our final selections, our premium card you know, we don't get to it for like another 20 minutes after the show. So it, it just look at it as leans, guys. We don't have all the information out yet, but we're trying to give you the best we can. So just yeah, it, 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 it's just kind of like, a, a um, you know, when we we go over it with, with Joe and myself and sometimes when Peyton's on here, we we uh, you know, this is like the beginning of our, you know, it's like, it's like part of our handicapping process. So we go over exactly. the games and then we <laughs> circle back to them and we really get into the deep down in the numbers and trends and. Yeah, you know, and stuff like that. So, all right. So, all that being said, let's go <clears throat> jump into the first matchup, Joe. We got uh, Philadelphia Phillies. Man, they dropped one to Miami last night or yesterday. Uh, you know, they got Eflin on the mound, but versus this this phenom pitcher for Miami, uh, Yamamoto. Now, Miami is uh, plus money at home, so they're underdog at home, even with this pitcher as dominant as he's been, plus one twenty five. And nobody's believing in them because 83% of the money are on the Phillies. What's your take here? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a non-belief. I was talking to the guys in chat yesterday. Jordan, uh, his name is full name, Jordan Yamamoto uh, from Hawaii. Shout out to Hawaii, all the viewers out there. And Nikki Nichols, who went to high school with this guy. Uh, well, not with him, but same high school that he went to. So he was telling me about, you know, this picture. I, I like him. I mean, I, I'm, I can't back the, I cannot back Philly. I like Jordan. He's pitched three games. All three games, he's Pretty much shut down the teams. St. Louis twice, Philly once. This is fourth start. He's been on fire. I mean, like a .95 ERA, you know, yep. qualifying ERA, you know, for those three games, which is, you know, saying a lot. So I like Jordan Yamamoto. I like the Marlins. I'm off the bamboo and the Phillies. I think the bamboo died on the way to fucking Miami. <laughs> you know, so let's go with Miami. Let's go with Jordan Yamamoto. Give me my, give me the, give me the fish. 
not so fast. <laughs> now, now, here's the thing. I, I agree. Uh, the fish, and especially Yamamoto, has been amazing. Uh, but, you know, we ha- I believe he ha- he he's over. Well, he has to regress a little bit. Uh, hitters are literally 0 for 16 versus that slider of his. That can't keep up forever. Um, you know, Zach Eflin, he's looking to get back on track after uh, he had like a really bad game versus the Mets. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna be I'm gonna go to the opposite side. I'm gonna I say the Philly gets to Yamamoto. The, they're the first team that actually gets to him. Um, so give me Philly in this one, and probably the under if I had to pick a side. But you know, again, these are our leans. This is just where I look. At, you know, this is just how we look at them, just at first glance, so to speak. Gotcha. We'll put All, you right. Down. All right. What you got, man? What's next? I got a. I got a good game. Atlanta versus the Mets. This was an ugly game again yesterday. If you were a Mets fan, I guess that's six in a row now. New York just dot. They're just in full disarray. I mean, I'm not even gonna. Same thing. Give me, give me Atlanta. Just a complete fade of Mets. I mean, I know they're going to win at some point, but I don't know what it's going to take. So a big bamboo for them too. I don't know. I just don't know what it's going to take for the Mets and their bullpen. They're 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 horrific. You know, I mean, Steven Matz pitched well, but I like the Mets. What do you think? I mean, yeah, I like so, Atlanta. So there, there's two things here. Like, which Toronto are we going to get? I mean, in the beginning of the season, he was dominant, uh, but the last two starts, he struggled a little bit. Now he struggled versus the Mets the last time uh, last uh, last week. But so you know you got that one where he's he's struggled versus a team in the Mets that have not been playing well. But then if you look over Toronto's career, uh, he has 17 starts versus the Mets, and he uh, he's has a 2.17 ERA. That's straight dominance. So which one are we going to get? I probably lean towards the Braves here. That you know the history shows that Toronto dominates the Mets. Um, the Mets, like you just said, are <laughs> awful. Maybe they have a lot of stuff. It's like a dumpster fire back in their clubhouse. So, give me, uh, give me the 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 Braves here in this one. Yeah, and just a little quick note, uh, Austin Riley. If you guys didn't catch him, we did a little. It was on MLB Live. Plug to MLB if you're watching, please. Uh, you know, pick <laughs> us up. Uh, yeah, sponsors, pick <laughs> us up. But MLB <laughs> did a really good uh, piece on him. He was there live in the studio in New York, and man, that kid's big. He's strong. He has a good personality. I like that kid. You know, Austin Riley for Rookie of the Year if he qualifies, which I think he does. Uh, you know, then you got Marcakis, you got, you know, I mean, you just got so many rakes. Donaldson, rakes. Yeah. I mean, everybody rakes. Freeman, you know, like Acuna, the big guy. I mean, just so I don't know. Even if even if Tehran pitches bad, I like the Atlanta bats to just hammer Matt's at least. So give me again Atlanta, emphatically Atlanta. Yeah. You know, under Mets even if the Mets are winning, you never they're never fully winning because their yeah. bullpen could just fall apart in, at any point. Yeah. All right, next game I have here is uh, Chicago versus Cincinnati, Joe. We got oh. uh, Quintana on the mound. Uh, I mean, they got crushed <laughs> yesterday by the Reds. Um, <laughs> nobody saw that coming. I'm telling you, that Cubs game yesterday busted wait up, wait up. more parlays across the world than anything <laughs> else happened yesterday. Hey, um, I saw that. <laughs> well, I mean, we saw it later. Big Shout out to Big Mon. We bet that game late. If you guys are not betting – you know, on the Discord, we, we gave out this bet. The, the, the Cincinnati Reds' first five was a, a no-brainer. It cashed. We thought, hey, Cubs should win this game, we thought. But give me Cincinnati first five. And guess what? They covered the first five and the last five. So. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sexy bet there, Joe. Yeah, first so, five. Um, <laughs> so in this matchup, we got Quintana taking on, uh, oh, God, this name again, Castillo. <laughs> Castillo. Right? Castillo. We got, Castillo. We got Castillo. Quintana versus Castillo. We got two uh, lovely... Uh, Guys going here. Yes. Give me Castillo. I'm not even going to say anything. Give me Castillo, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see the Reds versus left handed pitching. They're 15th in the league, batting 248. So they're, uh, you know, middle of the road team. Reds have been fairly hot, guys. And, you know, they're, you know, they're sneaky hot. This is one of those teams that it's like I was telling you maybe a month ago in one of my videos that, you know, the Reds are one of those girls that, you know, that, you know, they have the hair up and the glasses on, and then next thing you know, she throws the hair down and takes the glasses off, and she's gorgeous. So they're sneaky hot. Um, I, I'm i leaning the Reds here um, at home with Castillo. Castillo, correct. I had a drink some water to clear the throat. <clears throat> Castillo, yes. Oh, I like Castillo. <laughs> so let's, let's uh, yeah, enough said. I don't, I don't want to, you know, be a dead horse. Cubbies are just horrible on the road versus home. Their home splits are horrible. You know, Quintana's been, eh. I mean, I just, uh, 
it's funny though because me and uh, Big Mom were talking. Shout out to Big Mom if he's up. He was saying the same thing I said last night. Hey, you know what? The Cubs seem to be getting a lot of money, even though they looked like crap yesterday. Mm-hmm. But it's just that public money. Public. They love the Cubbies. I mean, there's like there's there's probably a Cubby fan in every state of our wonderful country here. I bet oh, they just have course. such a following. So, like I said, don't be surprised. Castillo is has good numbers. I like him here as a favorite. Like I said, let's uh, lay the small price here with Castillo for me. Yeah, so. and. That thumbs down we just got in the videos from that Cubs fan. So, hey. Okay. Already a Cubs <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's move on then. <laughs> All right. Uh, what you got next? I got a – this is a good one for our, my friend out there, uh, you know, Mean Joe Green. We got Pittsburgh versus Milwaukee. You know, oh, we, Mean this is a good Joe one. Green. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Mean Joe Green. He's out in the Discord. I mean, we talk about – listen a lot. We talk about a lot of guys in Discord because we're just like a family there. So, you know, it's – for the audience not on Discord, that's what Mean Joe Green happens to be a big, big Steelers fan and a Pirates fan, and he's been raising that Jolly Roger because Pittsburgh's been dominating. Yeah, Give me well, Pittsburgh. Well, you know, no, nobody's perfect. I mean, you know, <laughs> you, know you, you have to love Pittsburgh fans too. I mean, nobody's perfect, but uh, yeah, Jordan Lyles, I can't back this guy. Uh, you know, he's been with he was with the Astros. I didn't care for him. He did go to the University of South Carolina, which I love that school, but I can't back him here. Give me the Brew Crew. Brandon Woodruff, 9-2. and two. He's been their best starter. Give me the Brew Crew in this matchup. Okay. And, uh, sorry, Mean Joe, but... Mean Joe, I, if I, I believe... I'm, sorry, Jared. Mean Joe, if you're watching, and you are, believe me, I'll take Pittsburgh first five and full games. But I like Pittsburgh first five even more. But let, right. let's, let's do that. <laughs> I got you. I hope the Brew Crew does something. All right. All right. Um, so the next matchup uh, that I see here, I see one of the best teams in the National League taking on one of the worst teams. You got Colorado taking on the awful Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh shit! Okay, go ahead. Um, got- you, know, you got the Rockies at home as a home dog, plus one thirty-eight. You know ah. the money is seventy-seven percent on the Dodgers. Joe, what do you see? Do you see the Dodgers getting their ass kicked again here, or? Uh- <clears throat> Are they actually going to get it turned well, around? Kershaw on the mound. Well, that's a funny little thing that I was telling someone. I think I was telling you too last night. I mean, last night was a. Uh, if you notice my video, I did stay off the Dodgers full game because I said there's a chance they lose. So just give me the first five, and we lost that in the fifth, bottom of the fifth. You're up five to two, the Dodgers with Ryu on the mound with the outrageous, just <laughs> crazy ERA. You don't, and he gives up seven earned runs in that inning. We our ticket blew. We lost, but. You know, I mean, lucky we all jumped at it over 50 and a half, 18 and a half, and we've cashed that. I mean, there was people cashing it, betting like 1,000, 2,000. They said, you know what, Joe? We lost that bet. Let's go all in Dodgers over. I said, take it. The Dodgers, <laughs> there's going to be runs galore. Yeah, so, and there was. There's runs every which way. Uh, but yeah. that was a bad beat in that first five. There's it no was, doubt. It was, it was ugly. So I'm going to go back with the Dodgers on this, with the small price, thinking the public, or not the public, because they're back in the Dodgers, but I'm thinking some sharp betters are going to like Colorado. Uh, you know, fading Kershaw, but I, I like Kershaw. Small price here. Mm-hmm. Give me Kershaw over the or the hapless Rockies that finally broke their 12 game losing streak yesterday. Yeah. Hey, what happened? What do you think? Like 12 and a half going under on that one? I know it's course no. field, but it's daytime though. So maybe they're no, no it's nighttime. It's going to no, be a it's nighttime. nighttime. Game. No, no, I, I'm, I'm to me, it's an over or no play, but I'm going to watch it okay. like again. I've been playing every over after the first inning. I don't play a pregame, I watch the first inning and see how the Dodger pitchers do. And if they're not on, I faded them with uh, Bueller mm-hmm. yeah, the day before, and I did it with Ryu. I said, guys, jump on the over. These guys are not on today. And it could yeah. happen again with Kershaw, but I don't know. It's just so hard to go under in that stadium for sure, especially the, in, in the summer. Oh, my God. It's just the ball flies out of there. And we already expect the balls are juiced anyway, so it's just like a double, double game. <laughs> Um, hey, uh, I, here's a game that I do believe will go over. Um, the next one up is Arizona versus San Francisco. The over-under set at seven and a half. We kind of talked about this a little bit last night, and um, I still feel the same way. I think with Drew Pomerantz on the mound, uh, Zach Greinke. I mean, so here's the thing. Can the, will the Giants hit Greinke? If they can't hit Greinke, then obviously this game's going to go under. But um, because I don't know if, San, uh, if Arizona is capable of uh, putting up Eight runs by themselves. So, what do you see, Joe? Seventy-three uh, percent of the money is on. Seventy-nine percent of the money is on the over. So maybe this is a trap play. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a, a play on the over under yet. Uh, I do have a strong play on Arizona myself. And uh, shout out to Nikki Nichols in Vegas. We we uh, we had this game yesterday. He's the one that brought it to my attention. He said, "Let's take Arizona 
on the run line. Got a really good price yesterday. Mm-hmm. I like Arizona. I don't like Drew Pomerantz. He's a gas can. Give me Arizona. First five and the full game. Back in Granky. And the yeah. over and under, I'm not sure yet. So I have to uh, check that. Yeah, I'm definitely taking Arizona. I'm leaving, leaning heavily on the over. All right, what you, what you got next? All right, we got a... Here's one that we uh, actually had on the premium play. It was a little bit of a sweat, but guess what? Cast easily after the you know they hit that back-to-back home run. We got yeah. St. Louis at San Diego. I love this game. So uh, I'm looking at maybe backing your boy Chris Paddock from... Uh, what is he from? Texas? Austin? Yeah. Where is he from? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's somewhere big, uh, in, here big, in the big state of Texas. Big, big sheriff coming out, but I don't know. He seems to be a little bit better after he got back from uh, you know the minors. But again, I'd have to look at the line. But preliminary, give me uh, San Diego with another win against the hapless St. Louis, which I have no belief. I hope they go down in flames. Sorry, St. Louis. Uh, so I'm on Chris Paddock and the Padres. Yeah, Chris Paddock uh, and the Padres currently minus 123 at home. I think that's a pretty decent price. St. Louis isn't the same St. Louis team that we've known in the past where, you know, they they're just always seem to be, you know, the steady, rock-solid team that – they're not that this year. They're they're not that. Um, at least not yet. The current money is sixty four percent on San Diego. Every time I've bet on Paddock this year, I've lost. <laughs> um, Joe, Joe gives me a hard time about it all the time. Yeah. yeah, to the point where now it's like this is my boy, which it's not. Uh, but I do think that Paddock is good, a good pitcher. But he also, you know, he gets in his head a lot. He's like he's like one of my kids, man. Like where they do something wrong in sports and then they just they can't. They can't focus anymore. So, um, you know, he needs to work on that. He did work on his mechanics a little bit while he got sent back down for a week in the minors. Yep. Um, I, I, but I, all of that being said, I'll lean to San Diego here um, for uh, for that minus 123 price. Okay. Got you. All right. So what do we have next? I think we have a special Let's game. See. We got New York. Oh, have, yeah. The London the, series. The London series. Okay. What do you, what do you have on this, sir? Real quick, I I believe the Yankees will win this game. Um, okay. I think the Yankees are obviously the better team. There's more money on the Yankees, so but you, you gotta be careful with that. But uh, Tanaka, he's been pitching extremely well lately. So um, you know, I'm not gonna fade Tanaka. I don't care that they flew how many hours over there. This this is still they're still gonna get up for this game. It's gonna be a good experience for everybody. Give me the Yankees in this one um, to get the job done. On I guess they're, everybody's on the road, but they're getting the yeah, they're the, they're the away they're, team. Yeah, they're the home team. And uh I mean the away team. So, yeah, and I agree with you on this. Uh Yankees, uh big the uh, big fan out there, big mom shout out. He loves the Yankees. That's his team. Uh I, I'm a little bit looking here at the total. I gotta I gotta play that uh, you know, they were saying that uh, there's some kind of white screen that the players aren't gonna say. I don't know. It, to me, it could just be all stuff that the media is just blowing out of proportion. I'll watch some of the pre preliminary game stuff and see how this white screen is going to affect the players. But I like the over a lot. I mean, I know a lot of people are on the over, but I just see MLB promoting major league baseball out there in London. They want to see some runs. Yankees, you know, can put up runs. The, yeah. whole, the, the, the total went up a whole point over last night. So I like the, I like the over I'm leaning on the over and I do like the Yankees in this stuff. So, yeah. Um, I, I heard a little bit about that park. It has like the shortest center field, of any major league baseball, like I think center field's like 384. So, 385, like, yeah, and it's a made up stadium, they made it up because it's a soccer field, you know, right? So, yeah, you know. so over, pop, yeah, definitely with these bats, you know, and the, these juice balls. I mean, that any pop fly out there could go. Um, I'll give me the Yankees, I'll uh, I like the over as well. Okay, in this matchup. Yeah, hey, did you see that both of those teams are are uh wearing white today? Yeah, I saw that. I, yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. But, yeah, I mean, they're just putting on a show, dog and pony show out there. But I like that. Let's go kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it's – um. I mean, another thing, they, they, I don't know if I said it really quick yesterday, they're going to put the scoreboard has the actual runs, you know, instead of the R, the errors spelled out and the hits because they want people to engage. They want them to know, the fans to know what – to get familiar with uh, Major League Baseball. So, they're you know, it's kind of – it's going to be a kind of unique game. I'm going to watch it for all the little things that MLB did. Yeah, you know, to make to make this kind of a you know a universal appeal. So I like it. I'm gonna watch it. Very cool. Yeah, um, you know. All right. So Cleveland versus Baltimore. Uh, nice. Big Big Mon in our uh, group chat yesterday said he's leaning heavily on Baltimore here. I I heard him and you know yeah. Baltimore they they destroy Cleveland and Cleveland's been known to do that every once in a while. They they get it down and then they just kind of just give up and move on to the next one. Today you got Plesac, which has been an amazing pitcher from coming up from the minors. Yes, yeah. 
You got uh, Andrew Kashner, which is probably the best pitcher for Baltimore. I'm not saying much. Um, do you see any value here with Baltimore at home as the underdog? Wow, you know, yeah, we were talking about this. Uh, if anything, I will. I, I mean, God, it's hard to fade. Please, Zach. Zach, you know him. You know, had a little rough start last time, but God, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know what? I I could see Baltimore. You know, a little bit of a momentum from yesterday's shellacking. I did. <laughs> you know, here's what I know. Yesterday, a lot of the uh, favorites went down, and I thought Cleveland at least yeah. had a shot of winning with uh, good old Clevenger back. But Clevenger hasn't been back, hasn't been the same since that injury with the you know arm, then the leg, the sprain. So I don't know. So today, I'm believing a little bit in Zach, but uh, give me Baltimore first five um, full game. I gotta think about that because their pen is awful. So, but although yesterday they need it, so give me Baltimore first five, and I am leaning on the over too. I'm going to take Cleveland full full game in this one. I don't believe in Baltimore, um, so yeah. give me Cleveland. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. Toronto versus the Kansas City Royals. You got Homer Cy Young Bailey taking on Marcus Stroman. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, that guy's pitch. That Homer is – there's no more Homer Bailey days because this year he's done pretty well. But you're right. We were saying last night that maybe now he's going to regress back to good old Homer Bailey. Uh, yeah, he has to, man. I mean, he can't keep up this pace. This is freaking Homer Bailey. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I have to agree. Stroman's been looking good. He might be up for trade, so maybe Stroman's trying to, you know, put up some pitches. He did uh, make a statement that he can pitch under the bright lights. He wants to go to New York. So who knows? Maybe Stroman comes out and puts in a good performance for the, uh, you know, teams, uh, prospective teams that want to pick him up. So, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I do agree. Uh, Homer Bailey has to regress. Toronto Strowman, I like him. A little bit of a high price, but I'll, I'll watch. You know, see the line moves if I get some late money on Kansas City. Maybe yeah. in Toronto first five. So yeah, I, I love to- Marcus Strowman, but this price is too high for me. Um, it's just too. There's not enough value in the Blue Jays bats to justify this price. Um, especially you know Homer Bailey has been pitching really well. So and it's not like the Kansas City Royal bats are are slouches, you know. No. So um you know both the both teams have pretty below average bullpens. Um but I'm leaning towards Stroman. I've been saying for a while now, at least the last two months that I want Stroman to be traded to the Astros. So uh you know but I, you know I think he's the better, give me the better pitcher, but this price is too damn high in my opinion. Okie dokie. All right. And yeah, uh, let's move on. This was an interesting game. We kind of looked at this last night a little bit. This is a tap, Texas at Tampa Bay. We got Samson, which has been decent. And we got yeah. this new pitcher, Brendan McKay, which we looked up at his stats. And I guess it's supposed to be some phenom coming out of, a, you know, the minor league system. I mean, what yeah. do you, you have? J- Joe, may I offer you a stat? Yes, sir. All right. So in the minor leagues, he, is, uh, he has 14 games he's pitched. He's 112. He's lost two. Um, now, he hasn't lost a game since 2018. Uh, <laughs> he has a career minor league ERA of minus, or I'm sorry, of plus, what am I talking about? 185 is his ERA. And he ha- so here, here's the most intriguing stat here at all. He has a, this year in 2019, he has 66 innings pitched. This guy's already thrown 88 strikeouts in that time. Um, 165 in his career, 212 strikeouts. Miner's only hitting 179 against him. 0.83 ERA. I mean, this guy has just been electric, dominant. I th- I mean, this is going to be fun to watch him. Um, but all that being said, I can't place a bet on this game. Uh, you know, you because you don't know. You know, Texas has been red hot, and you know, but this is definitely intriguing for the future for the Rays. Yeah, I mean, they just keep coming out with good pictures from what the stats you read. I did, you know, read those stats last night, and I, I, I agree, but I don't agree any rookie pitcher making a. I mean, I'm re- Texas has been hot. I'm laying off the game, but I do lean heavily Texas for some plus money. They have been hot, you know, mm-hmm. Joey, you know, the whole crew out there, you know. I, I mean, when is Hunter Pence coming back? You know, I mean, he's been out for a while, but I yeah. mean, hopefully he comes back. I mean, they, but even then, the, the Texas still hammers the ball. I love Texas. Give me Texas. Full game with some plus money just to go against the fade this up, uh, you know, phenom pitcher here. That's just me. Yeah. Well, Hunter Pence has been down with a, a ham or not a hamstring, a groin injury, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he, I don't know. I'm not sure. He'll probably come back after the all-star break. If I had to guess. I think he's. Uh, yeah. Oh, he says he ran the bases on Friday. Um, oh, he appears yeah. close to returning to a game. It's not clear if he needs a rehab assignment. If I had to guess, it'll be close to the all-star break. You know, give yeah. him a little bit extra time. Yeah, well, I think he, he may, yeah, I mean, so that's good. Okay, what do you got next? 
Um, let's see. Uh, we have Minnesota versus Ivan Nova of the White Sox. What do you see off the uh, top here? You oh, see man. Dominating? God, they lost yesterday. I was watching the game. I didn't have any money, but I was, you know, I was hoping Minnesota lost yesterday so I could take them today with Pineda, Michael Pineda going. But, uh, God, it's just, again, Minnesota's been playing – Regressing back to the mean, I guess they they scare me. I mean, yeah. I, now of course Ivan Nova is not a great numbers at home or on the road, so it's a tough game. I I I want to lay them the the juice with uh, Minnesota, which is right at the borderline of minus one fifty, but I'm a little scared, so I'm gonna have to watch some line movement. But I am leaning Minnesota maybe to to bounce back, and if they can bounce back at, with the uh, Nova on the mound here, you know, take them on. So I like Minnesota a little bit. I like Minnesota as well. It's hard to fade the White Sox at home lately, uh, you know, because they they've been playing well. I mean, but Pineda, he's only given up one home run in his last five uh, games. Now that's pretty significant considering in the beginning of the season he gave up 14 home runs in his first 10 starts. So I think he might have figured it out a little bit. Uh, Minnesota is the better team here, and I can see them winning on the road. Okie dokie. Sounds um, good. Kikuchi, the over machine, taking on Justin Verlander, which, you know, he doesn't give up too many overs himself. Minus 310 is this price for Astros. I mean, plus 275, plus 280 for Seattle. I mean, Joe, I mean, I'm a huge Astros fan, but there's got to be some value here in the Mariners. Yeah, I... uh... I mean, I want the Astros to lose. I want them to be knocked off the division. I mean, I, I'm just rooting everything against the Astros. Sorry, no, no hater, offense. Man. I'm not a hater. I mean, all the fans I, in Texas, I love you guys. I love you. But come on, you guys. I mean, you don't see the Dodgers stumbling this yeah. bad. He's bitter I mean, the Dodgers, because of 2017, everybody. The Dodgers are hungry. These, these Astros are, like, mailing it in for the till All-Star break just on a cruise. I hope Texas catches them. I'm all over, you know, Kikuchi. Give me the over machine. Give me Kikuchi. Another upset I'm, upset I'm calling. I don't uh, believe nothing in the Astros. Nothing in the Astros. Yeah, we'll see. That's the problem. You know, <laughs> when, we, when we hoist the, the, the title again, you're oh, going to be over there. I mean, I get it. I get it. I would be upset, too, if my team lost to the Astros in 2017. <laughs> I would hold that. I'd be bitter about it. I'm sure you hate the Red Sox as well. Yes, um, I do. <laughs> so, I hate it. Yeah, uh, I see Verlander winning. I cannot advocate betting, you know, minus 310, maybe a run line. Um, Verlander's been dominant. So, uh, but, you know, so the run line little... the, the, okay, the Would you shave all facial hair on your face if the Astros lose? Are you, you talking about like, my <laughs> eyebrows and everything, too? Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, come on. We don't want, we don't want, but just your beard... Oh. And your and your mustache. If the Astros lose, I mean, if you believe it, I mean, <laughs> shit. And if they win, I'll grow mine out. How's that? I mean, if I could grow it out, you know. <laughs> oh man, my wife would not be happy about that. Um, man. All right. Well, well, okay. We'll we'll revisit that later. We'll we'll leave that for the World Series. How's that? All yeah, right. If you fine. if you make it, if you make it. Okay. So I mean, so I, I assume you're taking the. <laughs> Houston. I, yeah, you know, but it's not a strong lean. I I can't even advocate right now for a run line because the Astros yeah. have been so wildly inconsistent with batting. Just keep in mind when the Astros had a hundred to ninety percent, ninety percent to a hundred last two games when they had that much money. You know <laughs> what happened? Smells. What what happened in, in in Houston with Toronto? They got they got smoked. To what happened? Yeah, what happened with Pittsburgh? They got fourteen smoked, to two. So, they got smoked. Yeah. And then with the Blue Jays too, twelve to what? Zero? Twelve to two? I, yeah, I think it was it was something like that. Yeah. So I mean, that's what I'm saying. Just give me, give me the, give me, give me Seattle. Just fading Verlander and the Astros and that whole organization. All right, let's go. That's it, my piece. I just, I mean, if I was, I, it's just okay. I have to stop. It's, I, it's easy being a Dodger fan, I mean, you know. So I'll give it that because the Dodgers win. Listen, listen I mean, I love being a Dodger fan. It's, I mean, if my team sucked, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Not, I'm not saying your team sucks. It'd be hard to get up every day and say. Yay, let's go Orioles. <laughs> let's go Tigers. Like, I feel bad for those fans. No, it's I mean, easy. I've actually you know? been there. You know, the Astros haven't always been good, uh, you know, and you just kind of just look towards football season, you know, and then you realize, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm a Texans fan. Ah, So then you oh, look God. towards basketball season, you know. It's tough being a Houston fan down here. Well, I'm just uh, like I said, not to dwell, but I think the Dodgers will win the pennant this. Well, they'll luck 
If the Dodgers don't win the World Series this year, it'll be like the third time they've gone to it and not one, only one team has done that. I was reading a stat, I guess since 19, the 1913 Giants and not one. So if the Dodgers don't win, they'll be in the same class as the 1913 Giants, gone to three World Series in a row and not won any of them. So yeah, we're going to win. That, that's, uh, that's, what, that's the Buffalo Bills of the yeah. baseball. So. <laughs> um, okay. All right, let's, let's move on. Shot. we got two more games to go. Uh, let's go with Oakland versus the Angels. Now, you know, I know you know the Angels, so do you see yes. that they can – got two lefties on the mound here with Brant Anderson and Skaggs. Uh, Angels are favored, minus 142. Currently 68% no, – 96% of the money, the early money, is on Angels. So, you know – that. That could shake out for sure. Yeah. But do, you, do you see that, you know, them being that big I mean, of a favorite here? I, I mean, I'm I following uh, Tyler Skaz, but, you know, he's been decent of late. But I, I last night was a perfect spot for the A's. And I, I said that in the chat. I said, I don't know why the A's with Mike Fires. And they said, oh, well, his splits are bad. He's bad on the road. But they just dominated that. I watched that game from beginning to end, you know, here on the local station. And mm-hmm. I like the way Oakland played. I don't know if they could do that again tonight. They're very streaky. But uh, I'm willing to take a chance on on. Uh, yeah, I like Oakland, but I'm going to see if I could get maybe the juice reduced to the Angels because I think the Angels win, but I think Oakland gives them a fight. It's a tough game for me. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, like I said, it, it's, it goes down to just how good Skaggs pitches today. So. Yeah, it is a tough game. Um, that being said, Brett Anderson is a decent pitcher. Give me give me the plus money here with Oakland. Okay. All right. I'll, you know, I'll follow you with that one. That, that's good. I mean, although I want Angels to win because I do want them to also catch the Astros. So. I want every team in the AL West to catch the Astros and put them in the cellar. How's that? Man, how so. do you wait? How do you wake up and <laughs> I, I, I don't even know, man. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> so speaking of uh, speaking of good teams that are resurging, we got the Natties against the Tigers. I'm like a Natty now supporter here. I love what the Nats are doing. Yeah. They're winning. I mean, there was rumors of trading, you know, Max and the crew, and you know, I mean. It was crazy. Now they're talking about going, you know, they're like two games away from the wild card spot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, the I mean, Nats are on fire. Give me the, you know, you know, so so. The, the Nats have underperformed in the beginning of the season. Uh, and I've been saying that from the beginning. I thought that they actually had a better team this year than last year uh, with their pitching. And, you know, who cared about Bryce Harper? With the, you know, they had Radon and Soto and, and, and the crew. I really felt like this is you know, now we're starting to see them bounce back to where they should be. Uh, today you have Austin Voth. He's uh, you know he, the rookie. He made his first career start last Sunday. He only allowed two runs versus the Braves. Um, he also had uh, seven strikeouts. Um, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if he's a rookie. I just he had the first start of his of, of the season. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's done. Yeah, uh, so I don't want to make a mistake there. But um, anyway, it earned him another start for this game uh, versus the Tigers, which is nowhere close to being like the Braves. Um, yeah, so I can't, I, I can't fade the natties here. So, yeah, um, give me the natties in this one. Yeah, I have to agree. Yesterday I was all over them on, on the money line. You know, that was about the only favorite that actually won. So, I mean, I'm glad. But, I mean, I, I like the Nats a lot. Like I said earlier, they they are playing good, Paul. You know, the, I, I, you're right. I think they've underperformed because a lot of people had them, you know, winning the division. Again, though, but I'm glad. And if you're not watching them, they're exciting every time they hit a home run. I hated them when they did it on against Miami when we had that game. They would go in the dugout and Soto and them would do like a conga line or they dance. So they're like having a good time. So I like yeah. the Nats. Let's go Nats. Let's uh, take over the division. Kick the Phillies out. Kick the Braves out. Let's go. I want the Nats in the NL. I want to play against the Nats. Dodgers and Nats. How's that? Uh, <laughs> I'm already right. setting it up. I'm already setting it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully the okay. Nats go to the World Series this year. Okay. That's, that's, I I, that's what I hope. I doubt. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what else do we have? Easy, I think easy <laughs> wins for us. That, that's it, man. That's all the the games. You know, we just got. I felt like we just got started. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I know we're all good. Saturday usually is fun because we have a little more time. And we could, yeah. I guess, uh, talk about the week that is. So yeah, that was cool. Hey, uh, sgdwins.com. That's where you can find our premium selections. Uh, definitely come check that out. We will have our premium selections out shortly. So jump on the train and. Let us get some wins for you guys. Yes, sir. And I'll add to that. Yeah, SGD wins. Like I said, uh, we're uh, we're getting back a little roll. Like I said, if you're not watching our videos, I'll have another Dodger video out today. Sorry we lost that yesterday, but we're still on a good run. The parlays are hitting. We got a lot of good stuff from Parley Mon, Parley Juan. I mean, everybody, 
We're in there. Let, come in the chat. Discord, it's free. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I, I will also post my my own video soon. Uh, we had the Texas Rangers yesterday. See if we can find you another winner. All right, Joe. I think that'll do it for today's show. Why don't you take us away? All right, guys. Well, again, thanks for all your support. Again, that live chat will be on there again for the afternoon games. And uh, just like I said, any questions, shoot me a DM or you know, get on chat. And uh, thanks for all the support. Yeah, Love it. Go Dodgers. Good luck to good luck to guys uh, today, guys, and we'll see you later. Peace. All right.